Guys, we're here talking today about whether or not you should buy a new home and build a home or buy an existing home. A lot of clients come to me and ask that exact question. And to help me answer that, I'm with my good buddy, Paul Boyer of Macaulay Real Estate, and you represent? Macaulay, oh, builder, Paul Shin. Paul Shin, we're just gonna roll with it, perfect. All right, uh, so when I was talking to my friend Tom who asked the question whether or not he should build or buy a home, his concern was that there's just not enough listings out there. We've been looking for a while. And I told him the answer wasn't that simple. Uh, when you're buying a new home, it does come at a premium, five to 20% more per square foot. Uh, but like Paul can tell you, you're buying something that's gonna be more efficient. The mechanicals are predictable and new, so you know when they're gonna go out. And there's no remodel uh, costs right up front. Uh, what else you got on that, Paul? Well, I agree with you, Andy. It's like you said, some of these existing houses that we sell, the home inspector comes in and then you find out, well, the roof is 18 years old. Mm -hmm. The furnace is 18 years old. The air conditioner is 18 year old. The water heater is, you know, 12 years old. So you buy that house and then you don't know when those things are going to go out. You buy new construction, you know, you've got a two year warranty on all those mechanicals and you don't have to worry about anything. I love that. So I actually just bought an existing home that was built in 1890. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got a great deal on the property itself, but I know that, you know, we finance the purchase of the home, but as we remodel things, that's hard cash out of my pocket. Yeah. And when interest rates are low like they are now, sometimes it's going to be better to buy a new construction home where you're not having that hard money cost come out to update your kitchen, bathrooms, replumb, new porches, new windows. These are all don't projects have, that are on the horizon. Have to, don't have to paint. You don't. The whole house is painted. <laughs> it's one of the worst things. Painting and drywall, right? <laughs> right. Uh, other things like the reason we bought an existing home is we like the mature lots. So there's a lot you know, more mature trees in the neighborhoods, the look and feel and charm of living in an historic home. That's why we bought it. Nice. Um, but the premium for that is now my utility bills are more. Yeah. Uh, you know, hot water heater is going to go out. We're going to be replacing furnaces. We had to do 30 new windows. So where you pay for that um, is kind of the decision you make whether or not you want a new home or an existing home. Yeah. You know, that's one thing I like about this subdivision, the preserve. Yeah. Um, the lots are put in for you. And then everything around you is all nature. Yeah. So you've got 90 acres here, 50 of it is all nature. So Perfect. it's beautiful. That's probably where the name of the preserve came from. Yes, where nature is your neighbor. Nature is your neighbor. <laughs> they got the slogan here at the preserve. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys around today with a video of the home that we're sitting in and give you a good tour of what's available in the preserve. Uh, if you have any questions about new construction, you can contact me or Paul. I'll put our numbers in the uh, comments below. Uh, but get a hold of us if you're thinking about building or if you want to buy an existing home. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Andy. Yep, pleasure.